Hey guys, it's Wendy with Fabcraft Some More. Um, I saw a question posted. Uh, somebody was wondering how to create a shadow underneath text. So I'm going to go over how to do that. So in Cricut Design Space, I'm just going to open up a new project. I'm going to choose the text button and let's just type hello. So when you open up a new project, uh, the font that is selected is Cricut Sans. I'm going to change that. So we're going to go up here. I'm going to go to my system fonts. And I already know that I think I want to use a font called Strawberry Blossom. I have um, a video that shows how I found Strawberry Blossom and downloaded it to use in Design Space. So go check that out. So I am going to first, Design Space always spreads out the letters so weirdly. I don't, I'm not really sure why. I'm going to find out why that happens. But in order to bring the letters closer together, you just want to come up here to where it says letter space and decrease it by clicking the down arrow until your letters are touching each other where you want them to. So that looks pretty good. I'm going to go ahead and enlarge it so we can really see what we're doing. And I'm going to move it over. Let's go ahead also and change the color. And the only reason we're doing this is so that we can see the shadow um, once we've added that. Take a look at the letters here and you will see little lines between the E and the L and the L and the L and the O and the L. Right now, all of these letters are separate entities. And if we go into make it, they will cut out separately and not all together. Okay, so I'll show you, we'll go over to make it, and you can see all the lines you see are cut lines. So wherever there's a line, there's going to be a cut, and we don't want that. So we're going to go ahead and click cancel out of here, because we're not even really going to make it right now. Um, and in order to correct that, you select all the letters, and you come down here to the lower right, and you click weld. Weld then welds them all together, attaches them together in a way where there are no separations and no cut lines. So that's good right there. Now, this is how we go about creating the shadow. Over here, you will see if you click on the little scissors over here in the layers, you can come up here and change the function to print. Now, instead of a cut file, it's a print file. From here, we are going to click make it and it will open up on the mat in ready to be printed like it would be if you were going to print and cut and we are going to go ahead and click continue and you do not have to connect your machine for what we're doing okay just come over here send to printer and it is going to bring up this little image and um, some options here what we want to do, you can just leave it to print to PDF. This part doesn't matter. The copies part doesn't matter. What matters right here is turning the bleed on. So you click bleed, see the green, white is off, green is on. And if you look at the pink letters, when bleed is off, it's small. When bleed is on, it, it expands it a little bit, okay? So the expansion of the text is what's going to create the shadow. Now, in order to save this, to bring it back into Design Space, you just come right over to the file, okay, right there, and you right click, to go to Save Image As, and you will see down here, again, this is a Mac, so you know, you'll be saving this on your Windows um, platform, so it might be a little bit different but it should show you that it's going to save as a PNG, which PNGs are a format that we can use in Design Space. I've already done this once and saved it, but we'll go shadow number two, okay? And click save. It's in my folder. I know where my folder is. 
make sure that when you are saving things off the internet, such as files for fonts or files that you buy and download through Etsy, um, that you know where those files are being saved to on your computer. So from here, we can just X click out of that, close it. And from here, we can click cancel. Down here on the right, we can click cancel. Are you sure you want to cancel this cut? Yes, we don't want to cut. So now from here, uh, we want to go to the option upload. And we're going to upload that text that we just saved in the other window. So you go to upload, come to upload images, browse, or if you already have your um, window open, you can go and find it. We're going to open it. And this, this is where you can bring files in from third party, uh, you know, things that you create yourself or that you've bought off Etsy or Creative Market or, you know, anywhere else where you found it. This is a very simple image, okay? So it's two colors. Actually, it's pink. So it's not very high contrast. So we're going to go ahead and pick moderately complex. We're going to click continue and it's going to bring this guy up. There is a um, zoom in and out over here in the upper right hand corner. So I'm going to really zoom in here because now what we want to do is we want to get rid of this black line. Up here in the upper left corner, you have select and erase, you have an eraser, and you have a crop. So because there's definitely room around the hello, we can choose the crop tool. Let me just show you what erase does. It works like an eraser. You can adjust the size over here so you can have it really big. You don't want it that big, or you can have it smaller. And erase, you could just come in here and you could just go in and erase that black line. Other thing you could do is click on, I call it the magic wand tool. It's the select and erase tool. And you bring it over here and click on colors that you don't want. And actually that took it all away. I wasn't expecting it to actually work that well. What you do want to do, however, is kind of zoom in here and see if it actually took all of that away or every once in a while there will be an extra little black dot hiding around from where that outline was. So make sure you kind of zoom in and check it out. So now we've deleted that. We can also crop it so that it's just the size of the hello, like so. Perfect. And then continue. So we want to save this as a cut image. I mean, if you're going to print and cut it, go ahead and save it as that. We're not going to do that. So I'm going to just save it as a cut image. Um, I'm going to go ahead and leave it named shadow two. You can enter in some tags. Um, this helps you when you want to search um, in your own files. I'm just going to type shadow and text because that's what it is. And then go ahead and push save. And it's going to save it in your uploaded files. Okay. So don't worry that it's not facing the correct way. So we're going to click it so that it's surrounded with the green square. And then we're going to click insert images. And it's going to take it into our project. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and make this not quite so big now. So here it is and it's really small and so we want to make it more the size of our other text and then we want to rotate it around. Now if you hold the shift key down while you rotate you can see how it snaps to the different angles and you'll get it straight. Um, without having to mess with it. That's the, that's a really great trick. Hold shift while you're rotating something if you're trying to line it up straight. So now this is the shadow. So we want the shadow to be behind the pink. So we can go up here. It's selected. We can go up here to arrange and you can click move backward. You can also um, right click and it will bring up those options too. 
So there's all there's always several ways to do things. So actually we make sure we're clicked on the black part, selecting the black part, and then you just move it around like so. And you can use your arrow keys to also move it. So it just depends on where you want your shadow to be. Still a little bit too big. I'm gonna make it a little smaller like that. And there you go. There is your shadow. Actually, it looks pretty cool. I like black and pink together. You when so then when you're wanting to make this as a cut file, you need to remember that we changed that pink to a print file, and you want to go back and change it to a cut file. When you take this over to the mat to make it, it's two separate colors and two separate mats, okay? Because the shadow is going to be a different color than the text that's on top of it. So it will cut both of them out and then you can layer them on top of each other. So that's how you create a shadow in Design Space. I hope that helped. If you have any questions or comments, leave them down below. Please subscribe to the channel so you can get updated when new material is uploaded. All right, guys, have a great day. Thanks.